when to file ISF for boys' shirts. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will be discussing an important topic in the world of customs brokerage and international trade, when to file an importer security filing, ISF, for boys' shirts. If you're involved in the importation of such products, this information will be vital for you. So, let's dive right in. First and foremost, let's briefly explain what an importer security filing, ISF, is. An ISF, also known as a 10 plus 2 filing, is a requirement imposed by the U.S. Customs and Border Protection, CBP, for all ocean shipments entering the United States. It is an advanced electronic submission of specific information about the cargo being imported. When it comes to boys' shirts, the general rule is that an ISF must be filed at least 24 hours before the goods are loaded onto the vessel that will bring them to the U.S. However, there are certain exceptions to this rule that you need to be aware of. One exception applies to goods being imported from a foreign trade zone, FTZ, or a U.S. foreign trade zone, USFTZ. In this case, an ISF is not required to be filed at the time of lading. Instead, it must be filed within 24 hours of arrival at the port of discharge in the United States. Another exception is for goods that are being transported solely through the United States territories or goods destined for immediate export. For these types of shipments, an ISF may not be required. However, it is always advisable to consult with a customs broker or an expert in the field to confirm whether an ISF is necessary in your specific circumstances. Now that we know the general rule and the exceptions, let's talk about the consequences of not filing an ISF or filing it late. Failing to comply with the ISF requirements can result in penalties and delays in the release of your goods. Penalties can range from fines to possible shipment holds, which can lead to additional storage and demurrage charges. It is crucial to ensure that all necessary information is accurately provided in the ISF. This includes details about the importer, consignee, seller, buyer, HTS codes, and much more. Any errors or omissions in the filing can result in potential penalties or delays. That's why it's recommended to work with an experienced customs broker who can assist you in completing the ISF accurately and in a timely manner. Now, let's touch on another important aspect of the customs brokerage process, the customs bond. A customs bond is a financial guarantee required by the CBP to ensure compliance with all relevant laws and regulations pertaining to the importation of goods. Without a customs bond, your goods may not be allowed to enter the U.S., causing significant delays and potential financial losses. Customs bond serves as protection for the CBP in case there are any violations, unpaid duties, or penalties associated with your shipment. It is like an insurance policy that guarantees payment to the government in the event of default. Working with a customs broker can help you understand the different types of bonds available and help you obtain the most suitable option for your shipping needs. To summarize, when importing boys' shirts or any other goods into the United States, it's crucial to understand the requirements for filing an importer security filing ISF. While the general rule is to file the ISF at least 24 hours before loading, there are exceptions for shipments from FTZs, USFTZs, or those destined solely for immediate export. Failing to file the ISF accurately and on time can lead to various consequences such as penalties, delays, and additional charges. 
Additionally, obtaining a customs bond is essential to ensure smooth processing of your importation and compliance with U.S. customs regulations. We hope you found this video informative and helpful. If you have any further questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, please let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated on all the latest customs brokerage and international trade information. Disclaimer note below, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.